What's going on ladies and gentlemen, once again I'm Nev from Nez Tech, but today I want to be checking out this 401 Game Boy system that you can get from eBay for 10 bucks. It doesn't actually have 400 games, it has about 350, but still 10 bucks ain't much. Now let's check this out, maybe it's not even worth 10 bucks, right? Only one way to find out. See we have Chinese and English. Of course you want to go with English. Now we can run down the games. All kinds of interesting things. Chippendale 1 and Chippendale 3. Now what's interesting about this is not only does it have many, many of the top uh, NES games. These are all NES games, by the way. Nintendo. Um, they also have some pirated ones. Some ones made offshore. But still very good stuff. Donkey Kong. Um, if you press these down buttons... We'll go page down, page up, and then these are like turbo buttons over here. You got your reset button, your start and select, of course. Super Mario. If you take a look at the clock on the top right, you'll notice that it runs a little bit fast. But it still feels like a Super Mario game. I mean, the buttons respond like they should. I've had a few of these systems that it feels like you press the button and then there's like a second lag. Don't miss that. There's like a second leg before it actually kicks in, but I'm not having an issue here. Knock off game number one that I want to talk is Super Mario 14. I have no idea how it got that title. Oh, let's take a look. Super Mario! Oh, yes. Very good, very good. Anyways, let's just get right into the game. Mario's got a katana that shoots. Pew, pew. And, oh, that's how you get over there. So someone actually put a lot of work into this. I mean, they made up some of their own images of Mario, and those backgrounds seem pretty, uh, oh, this is as far as I can get. And these backgrounds don't seem like they're copied off anything. Next up, we have Mario 3, and as soon as you start getting to this game, you realize that there's some actual potential going on here. I should probably turn the volume up a little bit. This plays exactly how you'd think a Mario game should play. This feels true to life. Next up, we have the Mario, or Mario, the Turtles Game 1. Having a bit of a hard time seeing those bad guys. Maybe it's the color. I don't remember if I had this kind of trouble seeing it originally on the, the, the TV screen. I don't think I did. But you see how they just kind of blend in with the background a little bit? The colors on this are pretty pastel -y. Oh, there's the bad guy. Yeah. Turtles 4 is the tournament fighter title. I don't remember this. I don't remember any fighters on uh, the NES. I can't even imagine trying to do a fighter game on the NES. I mean, fighters are uh, are relatively simple but very complex in the way that you have to uh, that you have to beat them. There's there's a lot of skill involved in a very small amount of space in a very small map and technically you only have two buttons so it would be interesting I wonder if they just put this on NES because um, maybe they just put this on NES just to sell some video games pretty much or maybe someone ported it over I'm not sure but for 10 bucks now the Contra games are a little bit different this is Contra 1 but I don't remember Contra 1 wait what's all this I don't remember running into that before We all remember that splash screen. Stage one, jungle. Okay, this is the Contra that I remember. That Contra ROM seems to have other ROMs on, or maybe I just don't remember the original Contra. But this, 
This is the Contra we all know and love. Man, I could play this for days. No! I could die for days, too. Thank God for the turbo button. I remember back in the day playing these systems. It's like some of these Nintendo games are just horrible, and some, some are just perfect. Okay, I just noticed this. When you start up Contra, you get the option to play different versions of Contra. Okay. Very nice ROM. Very nice. Now, Chippendale 3 is something we should pay extra close attention to. It's one of these hacked pirated games from Asia. And it is just beautiful in its craziness. It's Chippendale in Vietnam. <laughs> there goes Dale. He's landing in there. He's gonna save Vietnam. It's grenades. Those are shots. Yeah, that's right. Dale's using the gun. Just like in the TV show, right? They gave out on me. Took forever. I'm kind of, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, the battery in this is a BL5C. I see this in a lot of uh, cheaper electronics. Actually, I shouldn't really say cheaper, but the cheaper electronics that actually work, let's say. And, uh, yeah, so we got our plugged in. Not no more. Let's keep going. Ultimately, all of these games work for the most part. We have some issues with, for example, Super Mario Brothers not working uh, as nicely. Every now and then you'll run into a game that doesn't work as nicely, but for the most part, these are all A-class games that work well and work how they're supposed to. And for 10 bucks, you really get your money's worth out of this stuff. I'm, uh, I I got some more for, for Christmas gifts, honestly. It's going to be a while. We got Gallica, all kinds of good stuff. Um, and we even have some stuff that never actually made it to North America, like binary and if i can find it here let me so you you guys all know what we had in north america what we had to play with so how about next i'll show you some of the stuff that we didn't have to play and uh, we'll go through some of those games on here oh wow check this out so i had it on charge for about uh half an hour but if i unplug it the led goes down so that battery must not be as good as i thought it was here we go, Binary Land. This is one of those games that uh, they decided they just would not bring over to North America. Because whatever you do on one side, it does on the other side. And you have to get everyone to the goal in time. It is a very good game. Oh, I think I screwed us up there a little bit. But uh, there's definitely things released in Japan that were not released in North America. Uh-oh. Because of how difficult they were. And this is one of them. Next up, we have Transformers. Yet another game that didn't make it over here because it's so hard. Yeah, try surviving that, kids. <laughs> so the thing is, as soon as you get in, you can shoot. Ah. You can shoot. It's notoriously hard, though. Like, seriously, notoriously hard. Oh, and there's no continues. Come on. Ah, if you can get past the, the third guy in your first life, you're doing pretty good. But yeah, lots of that kind of stuff. Anyways, ultimately, at the end of the day, we got a lot of games on here. And uh, it's worth the 10 bucks. If you have the money, you should check it out. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. The box that it comes with has... user manual yeah you can play uh, Mario Sunshine I think that is we have a cable to charge and we have a cable to hook it up to uh, CRT television or anything that takes RCA inputs next thing I want to do I want to tear this thing down let's see what's on the inside folks open we're taking a look at the back of a PCB has the charge port and it looks like just one screw is keeping everything in there the volume the sound the sound speaker and she all just flops out this is beautiful is exactly what i was thinking it would be some hastily slapped on um spacers you got your nintendo on a chip in there that's interesting that we got a daughter board there like that you don't see that too often. 
Does that say Samsung? One sec. Samsung, it is a Samsung chip. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, Samsung chip. There's that, we've already seen that side. So yeah, technical marvel of innovation for $10. Very good stuff. I definitely recommend you check this stuff out. I don't know how long this is going to last for. I mean, the battery, something might die on me pretty quickly. But uh, I've been I've been putting a relatively high amount of time into this. I'm probably about an hour into it now. And it seems to be running pretty good. Seeing how the buttons work here. And this is assembled very nicely. we got some soft plastic. we got the buttons there. we got the soft plastic that seems to be, yeah, just pressed into pegs. This, I don't see how they can actually manage to sell for 10 bucks. I am uh, really uh, surprised by this. It's very cool for 10 bucks shipped. I don't see how anyone's making any money off of this, and I'm definitely going to be picking some up for stocking stuffers for next Christmas. Have a look, check it out, pick one up, and have a good one, folks. That from Nestec, but subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it, and uh, take care of each other.